What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex. You watching the Rage Nation Show Transformers Four Edition? This is just a web series where we talk about all things matter. Me for production of the fourth installment of the live action Transformers film franchise, directed by Michael Bay. This is update number fifty six. And before we begin talking about any of the news that's been going on with Transformers: Age of Extinction, let's do a couple of random Rage Nation shoutouts. Look out for your name because I'm gonna call out. Zach Gonzalez, Ruben Langer, Monty Allen, Jim Key, Tristan Brown, Matthew Bolin, and your crew, the Blacklist Shadow Kings. What's up, everybody? Thanks for all your support. I really appreciate you guys following the Raging Nation. And also, I want to give a big YouTube shout out to Transformer CR George, or is that Transformer CR Jorge? You know what? It's Transformer C R J O R G E. YouTube.com slash Transformers C R J O R G E. And um, the shout out is for this highly talented individual and uh, someone with a lot of patience because what he did is that he recreated my favorite scene in Transformers Dark of the Moon or in the entire trilogy, the freeway chase in Transformers Dark of the Moon. And what he did is that he sent me the the, the scene that he recreated um, in stop motion format and it is absolutely impressive. It took him like 10 years to make and I just gotta give this guy a big shout out because what you did is absolutely amazing. So check it out. Link is in the description box below and be sure to give that video a like and let him know that I sent you there. And also finally I want to say a big thank you shout out to Victor Wong. I said thank you to Victor Wong in my last video. I want to say it again because he provided quite a lot of photos from the um, the latest a shoot for Transformers Age of Extinction and that is for the Legislative Council building shoot. Now remember I was talking about the, the Legislative Council building shoot. I was mentioning that um, they didn't know if they can get the permit or not they're doing everything they could to get that permit to get the shot they got the shot I mean they got the permit and they were able to get the shot and uh, originally what I thought was that it didn't include explosions well it happened with explosions complete Michael Bay style I mean he ain't gonna go out of Hong Kong without a bang so he just made it explode and it was a pretty impressive scene you can see all the explosion photos at uh, Victor Wong's uh, Facebook photo album so be sure to check that out the link is in the description box below now let's talk about a couple of robots uh, robot reveals you know that I've been uh, doing a couple of robot reveals or a lot of uh, robots have been revealed in a very kind of um, a, 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 a vague and subtle kind of format we're not seeing the official photos but we're seeing some hints at what the robots could look like and you know how they've been putting the robots on the clapperboards and we have to get like a spy photo it's kind of blurry but we get a spy photo of the, the, of what the robot looks like on the clapperboard. Well, it looks like we're seeing a very close look at Bumblebee. Now, I'm not going to show you what um, what it looks like in this video, but be sure to click the Facebook link below and you'll see what Bumblebee looks like on the clapperboard. I can't show it in this video because Paramount has been very adamant about removing any videos that show any of, of, of the, these leaked images. Well, I just want to mention that uh, I like the way Bumblebee looks. He comes with a shield. Uh, he still has the arm cannon, but what's really interesting, he comes with a shield. Now, what is up with that? Are we really going like full on, like hand to hand style? Because uh, Optimus had a shield. Bumblebee looks like he's got a shield. And um, what is going on? We're seeing hand to hand weapons from Cybertron. So this is all very interesting, but uh, I'm liking the way Bumblebee looks. He looks a little bit more sleek, more Cybertronian, more alien like. And it's a very different look for Bumblebee. Be, but like Michael Bay said, he's trained. He's changing all the designs, and therefore they're going to be able to sell more toys that way. Just because you're buying a new version of the same character. So there you have it. Now moving on, let's talk about another character. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless me. Woo. <laughs> Her, right? Anyways, uh, another character I got to talk about is Dino. Remember on the first couple of days of the of the Hong Kong shoot, or rather um, Transformers, the, the production arriving in Hong Kong, all the Autobots were were being sh were showing up. You know, Hound, Bumblebee, Drift, Crosshairs, no sign of Optimus. That is the most interesting thing. No sign of Optimus. Uh, Optimus. <laughs> no sign of Optimus. Optimus. He's not Octopus, he's not Optimus, it's Optimus. <laughs> no sign of Optimus Prime, 
but we did get a uh, we did get a hint of Dino. Dino uh, showed up. Um, he got shipped over, and he was in the form of a Ferrari 458 Special. Now it wasn't an Italia. It was a Special. However, I just have to tell you right now that Dino is not going to be in Transformers Age of Extinction. We thought he was going to be in Transformers Age of Extinction, but the reason why we saw Dino, or rather a red Ferrari 458 Special, was because Hong Kong had the Asia World Expo on Lantau Island. If you don't already know, Lantau Island is one of the, the, the few, or one of the several islands that make up Hong Kong. Okay, In fact, it's one of the larger islands that make up Hong Kong, and the Asia World Expo was on Lantau Island, and it consisted of Ferrari showcasing 600 of their Ferraris, their vehicles in that in the expo, along with a whole bunch of other vehicles, a lot of other exotics and supercars like Lamborghinis and all that. All those vehicles were at the Asia World Expo. Therefore, I'm letting you know right now, Dino is not showing up in Transformers Age of Extinction. The Dino that we saw, or rather the Ferrari 458 Special that we saw, and the Natalia, and Natalia was also photographed, those are all showing up for the Asia World Expo. So, just letting you guys know that just because you see a whole bunch of supercars that were photographed doesn't mean they're going to be Transformers Age of Extinction. Now, if you want to check out any of these cars, check out uh, Ron Alder Photography. Uh, he took some really sweet photos of the Autobots, and he also took a lot of sweet photos of other potential Autobots. Not really, but just some really sweet supercars and uh, it's all in great uh, really professional looking uh, photography so check that out I know it's not completely Transformers related but a lot of Transformers fans are also car lovers so I just want to share that with you guys now moving on um, you know what speaking of supercars you know in the last video I was talking about um, uh, the, the Freightliner Argosy and then he's followed by uh, by a Lamborghini Murcielago and also a, a, a Gallardo and also um, a, a Mercedes Benz. Now, the first time we saw the Freightliner with with a whole bunch of vehicles is when he was uh, is when he was led by uh, three or six Chevy Traxxas along with a McLaren, along with a Bugatti Huayra, a dump truck, and also an Aston Martin DBS. Now, every time we watch these cars together, it's always the Freightliner Argosy is always the last one okay he's always the last one to drive into that scene everybody else comes first especially the Chevy Traxxas okay but in this photo the Freightliner Argosy seems to be leading the other vehicles now this kind of makes me feel that um, hmm I'm gonna throw out another theory here and that is maybe just maybe the combiner that we could possibly believe is Menasaur. Okay, let's just say it's Menasaur. Maybe Menasaur is actually made up of more than five Stunticon vehicles. Okay, maybe it's made up of more than five uh, uh, supercars. And it's quite possible that if Menasaur is made up of more than five supercars, maybe this Freightliner Argosy, who, who could possibly be Motormaster, he could be leading all these other supercars into battle. Okay, and that's that's just the theory because I'm just trying to figure out why is it every time we see the Freightliner Argosy, we always see him as the last one in the group. He's always being led by Chevy Traxxas and the four other vehicles, but this time he's the leader. And so what is going on here? That's a little bit interesting to me. Just thought I'd decide to uh, talk about that. Now, um, what I'm really concerned about is the toy line. The toy line is going to be a huge mess. And it's not because of, you know, the way Optimus Prime looks. It's because of all these supercars. Uh, uh, Hasbro so far has had no problem trying to get the license to produce uh, American cars in the toy format. You know, for, for, a, for a transforming toy. But it's rarely ever gotten the license to get cars like uh, Lamborghini or Ferrari or, 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 or Porsche. Right, so this is this is uh, gonna be very interesting because it's got all these cars, but uh, are we even gonna see these cars being made into toys? Now maybe, maybe, just maybe, Michael Bay, Brian Goldner, the CEO of Hasbro, maybe came up with a deal with these uh, toy company, I mean with these car licenses, these automobile licenses, and maybe he's a they're able to strike up a deal and maybe we're able to get these cars that's i mean cars as toys maybe that's why he's totally like milking the, the the heck out of these cars and making them show up in the in the in the movie we don't know that's just the theory but if they're not able to make these 
these these toys i mean make these cars into toys then we're kind of uh the, the, the production the movie production is kind of screwing hasbro don't you think so who knows what's going on out there but i'm just hoping i'm just hoping that the freightliner argosy and, and also grimlock and hound look really good in their toy format and robot format because i would love to see a leader class okay never mind all the supercars i want to see these three guys have a cool robot mode and have an awesome leader class toy <laughs> so there you have it hey by the way speaking of dinobots i'm just throwing something out there what do you guys think if dinobots were were, were a little different for example we've always known dinobots as a, a dinosaur mode and robot mode what if they decided to change that up in 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 the, in the michael bay movies what if they decided to do um they them, have them having a dinobot mode and then a vehicle mode, but no robot mode. The beast mode, ra uh, rather, I mean, the Dinobot mode is actually their robot mode because keep in mind they're from Cybertron, okay? So uh, maybe the beast mode has always been their robot mode and the vehicle mode is their alt mode. Okay, what do you guys think about that? Or rather, what if they had a triple changer mode? What if they're, they're triple changers? You got a beast mode, a robot mode, and a vehicle mode. Which would you rather see? Let me know in the comment section below. Would you like to see the original version, which is beast mode and robot mode? Or would you like to see a vehicle mode and beast, mo beast mode, no robot mode, okay? Or would you like to see triple changer mode, which is like vehicle mode, robot mode, and dinobot mode? Let me know in the description box below because, you know, I I'm all cool for change, but then... The change has to also be cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyways, that's not the last thing I gotta say in this video. I gotta let you know that it's a wrap. It's a wrap specifically in Hong Kong. Nicola Peltz has done all her shooting. She she tweeted an Instagram photo and um, she just mentioned that she is done for Transformers. And it, she's also mentioning that uh, Transformers is done with Hong Kong. Not them. Not it doesn't mean that they're fed up with Hong Kong and they're done with them. They mean that they're done. That all the production and the filming in Hong Kong. They are moving the production over to China, and uh, they still got I think a little bit over a week of filming. They still got to film at that geological park, right? Um, I believe that's where all the Dino Dinobot filming is going to be filmed, like the you know the the digging of the dinosaur bones, and also they will be filming in in Chongqing. And also, of course, the grand finale will be in Beijing where they're planned to blow up the bird's nest, the water cube, and that other building, you know, that other one that looks really cool. They plan to blow all that stuff up, Michael Bay style. So um, uh, a little bit over a week of filming. Now, we won't get any anything from Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube, or, or Facebook because they don't have that over there. It's blocked over in China because of you know the censorship and all the communism but uh they do have other chinese websites uh which which uh, you can get the, the all the information from if you are a frequenter of uh, these chinese websites i'm gonna do my own research and see what i can find from the china filming but uh if i can't find anything then um the show must go on okay <laughs> so there you have it anyways that's all i gotta say in this video i just want to let you know about all the crazy things that's been going on make sure you click the facebook links below to check out any of the photos and also let me know what how you feel about uh dinobots and and their different uh, versions of themselves for the michael bay movies who knows maybe they're not going to change anything at all but how would you feel if they made those changes into three different versions okay let me know in the comment section below as always if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe to the youtube channel like me on facebook the raging nation also follow me on twitter at raging nation my name is alex you thanks for watching i'll see you next time oh yeah by the way don't forget that we got prizes you got three days left three days left to be eligible to win these prizes okay and all you got to do is watch the video for the uh the rules for the optimus prime photo contest and um that's all going on on facebook october 31st midnight is the last day where you can submit your photo and good luck to everybody and thank you to everybody who's participating because this is going to be a really fun competition okay and uh you don't want to miss out on any of these prizes this competition is going to be a lot of fun i already mentioned that and i'll see you next time peace block roaring but when i watched the original video which is this one right here it never had the roar so somebody is pulling our chain and when i saw this video i knew